Hey guys, Fox here. Hope you're all well. As you can see, there's another PlayStation on my bench. Um, this PlayStation belongs to a friend, and he's told me that it's become very loud when it's actually loading a game, um, and that's quite a common problem with a PlayStation, guys. Um, what happens is, is when these the laser unit is manufactured, they grease the laser so it, it runs on its rails nice and smooth. And what happens over time is that grease gets dirt and other contaminants in there, and it basically hardens and makes it very difficult for the laser to move along. And that's 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 why it makes that loud noise. Um, so what I'm going to have to do in this video, guys, is strip the laser unit down. Um, I wash all the components of the laser unit, get all the old crap grease off there, reassemble it and re-grease it and hopefully that should fix the problem. I can actually show you, well I can actually let you listen to what it sounds like. Um, I don't know whether the camera is going to pick this up well, but it is very loud. Let me just power it on. And here we go. Did you hear that? It, it's making more, you can tell because it's it's not a smooth, it, normally it's like a ee, that was more of a ee, it was more of a grind noise to it, you could actually hear it grinding so yeah, I'm going to have to strip this laser down guys and, and reassemble it and re-grease it so uh, give me five minutes to set up guys and uh, I'll get on with that ok guys, I'm all set up Let's, uh, I hope you like the new top down view thing going on, um, if you don't like it let me know in the comments and I'll change it, but yeah, um, time to get into this PlayStation. PlayStation is very easy to get the laser out. Done. Okay guys, let's start stripping the laser down. First things first, I want to get these um, posts. They're like rubber posts to stop it vibrating when it's actually in the machine. I'll show you them, they're just little rubber posts. Oops. On a lot of PlayStation lasers, they, they don't actually have this black back plate on, but this model does. But yeah, you, you, you don't always see this back plate. Next thing I want to do is take the shroud off. Now there's a trick to this guys, there's a little clip at the back. See if I can show you that. Just there is a little clip, you lift that clip first. There you go. There's also one on this side as well. You just lift those clips and you should be able to work this loose. I said. <laughs> Why is that not coming out? There we go. It's just been stubborn. So now we can actually see the laser unit itself. Now 
and what I'm going to do is just move that down like that because the next thing I need to get to is the actual motor that controls the movement which is here look controls the movement and that comes off with one screw which is there do now is get rid of take the cogs out now it's best that there you go that's what I was trying to do is that it's got all that like one of them little wing connectors on the end of it and it's just a pain in the arse. Okay, now we can take the other cogs out. Um, the one thing you need to, to know, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little spring there. But you see it? It's like a little, I don't know if that's coming on camera there, you can just see a little bar going across. Whatever you do, don't lose that bar, because <laughs> that's like a tension bar, so you've got to be very careful that you don't lose this. it a little bit but you can always bend it back there you go don't lose that take this out should move up come out that's it now time for the laser block to come out this can be a little bit tricky as well because he's like a little clip you've got to try and get it past its stop and the way you do it is you do it by unclipping this here there you go and the lasers just fell out <laughs> That's the clip I'm talking. Oh, I don't want to grab it. I'm trying to grab it without going anywhere near the diode end. These are like a, these two little clips here, guys. You have to clip those off, and it just falls off. So that's the laser unit taken out. So I'll put that to one side because I'm not going to touch that bit, guys. Um, and we're pretty much down to its bare bones now. Okay guys, that's the uh, laser block stripped down. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all these little components and wash them. Um, put them in a the sink, toothbrush, wash them, get more clean. Um, get all the old grease off there. Um, I'm going to sit in with this for five minutes and get a toothbrush and just go over it with some isopropyl alcohol and just clean it all out, get all the old grease off, reassemble it and put it all back together and hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, that's will fix his problem with the loudness of the laser. Okay guys, I just thought I'd show you here there's little pieces, just a little bit of warm water, that's all you need. Don't, put, don't be putting any detergent in there or anything like that, it doesn't need it, it just needs a bit of warm water. 
Okay guys, back again. Now, the best way to do this is get yourself some isopropyl alcohol uh, and a toothbrush. And if you want to go to war on this thing, you, you could take the actual spindle motor off and then soak this in water and clean it, but it's overkill guys. Just leave it on there. It's, it's, you don't need to take it off. Yeah, I'm just going to put some spray some isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to come in with my toothbrush and just get off all the old grease that's on there see what the, the, the isopropyl alcohol will do is it, it will break down the old grease and then just wipe your toothbrush on the uh, kitchen uh, roll and just keep going until you know all the all the old crappy grease is gone. Yeah, and I can see that that looks new. Um, same with this one, guys. You can see it runs along here as well. So I'm just going to come along and do the same. Isopropyl alcohol. Wipe my toothbrush. Just come in. Just scrape. And then get rid of all your crappy grease. And I can actually see the grease, guys. It's got lumps in it. I can actually see lumps uh, in the old grease, which is not a good sign. It should be nice and smooth, not lump in it. And it looks, you can see, I don't know if you can see that. There's, you see that little speck, there's all like little lumps in it. So that's all the crap and the dust and crap that's got in there and caused the grease to uh, dry up over time. And there's, there's another bit there, look, can you see it? It just... That's what stops it moving, that's what makes it that noise, because it, it, it's trying to move along that rail and resists the movement. And this should do it, guys, you know. Should be fine after this. Just a bit on the, I mean, you can see how it's all lumped up on the bottom. It looks horrible. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't working properly. Okay guys, that's uh, that's that done. I'm just going to leave it now and let it let the alcohol um, evaporate, uh, and then I'll come back and start reassembling the laser unit. Okay guys, back again. Cleaned all the plastic uh, parts. Same again. Once I got them out of the um, water dried them uh, and then went to war with a toothbrush and the uh, isopropyl alcohol just to get all the old um, crap off them yeah this is dry now guys I can start to reassemble it so I need This is the grease I'm going to be using, guys. Uh, where am I? Gear grease. Or is it that way? It's that way, isn't it? <laughs> I'll make my mind up. Yeah. 
Oh, you can see that look, it's a little bit on my finger. So, okay. What I want to do is. You can see it. So I'm move it, spread it about a bit. You don't want to be caking it in it, guys. You know, you just want to. Just want to coat it really. You don't want no um, over greasy guys, you just want it to um, look how it looked before but now we're fresh grease on there. I should be reusing a brush but guys, but well, I'll tell you what I can do with a brush, screw it. There you go, that's better. There you go. Just have to wash my brush when I'm finished. So that's the two rails greased. As you can see, guys, I haven't overdone it. I'm not, you know, you don't want to cake it in the stuff. Um, I'm going to do is come in and put a blob in there. get this back together again so trying to remember which way it went now this is going to be fun I know that went in first yep that goes there then there's the little pin goes across oops nearly lost it <laughs> ping shoots across the room and now it has shot across the room <laughs> yeah that's gonna be fun to find okay guys back again it tried its very best to escape <laughs> But I nabbed it. Um, yeah, it took me about five minutes to find the thing. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm using tweezers this time. I'm not falling for that trick. It's not flying off again. Looks to it. Okay, so that's there. I'm gonna keep my finger on it and just push. There you go. Straight in. The. Yeah, that's okay. I'm glad I'm happy with that, guys. It's in. Uh, that was a pain in the arse. It went ping and <laughs> shot across the room. Now, yeah, that goes something like that. I know that goes in there. Um, yeah, that goes in there because 
So I'm trying to remember which way round it goes. So that goes in there like that. I don't want to f push it in because I've got to put all the stuff there. But I'm just working out. Yeah, I got it. I worked it out. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of grease on these. Like this. Let's grease these back up again. I don't mind if I get grease on my fingers, guys. I can always wipe it off. I just want to get it all over. <laughs> okay. So you go in there like that. Then, yep, yeah, same again. I'm going to do the same again with this little cog. Put it on the finger and the cog, and then work it in. Make sure you wash your hands when you've done this, guys. So it goes there like that. Actually, it goes the other way. That's it. And the last one, which is this cog, the same. I can, I can feel the quality of this grease just in my fingers guys, it's really slippy. Let's <laughs> work that into all the crevices. And there we go, that's that done. Yeah, that, that's smooth as a baby's arse. Um, motor time. Wipe that off my fingers. So I need to. Uh, oh, failed. I forgot to clean this, guys. So what I'm going to do is just clean it with a bit of alcohol. Where's my. Where's my toothbrush gone? Give that a couple of seconds and same again, I'll just come on on. Nice blob of grease. There we go, that should do. Okay. in there like that. Back in. And that's that bit. Then. So, what I can do now is I forgot to grease the bottom um, there should be some grease still there, oh crap that's way too much uh, I just want to put a little bit 
on the bottom there and see if I can get down in there yeah that's good so we're almost there guys um, next is to put the laser back on but what I'm gonna do before I do that is hate that floppy bit of the laser the ribbon just I'm going to put a tiny bit of tiny bit of grease can you see that's that's where the yeah this is where the it moves up and down the rail on this does this on the rail so I'm just gonna put a bit I can get a bit bit of grease just on those three posts I wanna go over don't wanna go ape shit with it I just wanna make sure Got a nice bit of grease on those three posts. And there we go. Now what I can do is gotta be careful when you handle lasers, guys. Don't be touching that bit, that's a diode. You'll knack of the laser. Fix that back in there like that. This wig gets fiddly because everything's greased. <laughs> I can get it, slot that in there, and then what you do is you push it forward. You've got to try and hold the laser back and slide that lever. See it slide forward and that locks the laser, the laser's locked in now. So that's that locked in. That doesn't that's that's the ratchet guys, it's got like a ratchet on it. That's what that metal thing was that shot across the room that's the ratchet it's so you don't move it forward like that and snap all the the cog uh, teeth off the cogs it's like a fail safe that's what that metal pin was it was just protecting the ratchet so what I'm going to do now sorry the the cogs is I'm going to grease this metal cog up so that's nice and greased as well same again you don't want to go eight shit guys you just want to coat it what I'm going to do is just come in with my and make sure that all that grease goes inside those cogs teeth sorry yeah And that is that. Through there. Once again, I failed again. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Come on, you studying thing, right? That slots in there like that if we want to stay in there this is what this is the adjustment for the laser power um, but yeah guys this is nearly done we're nearly done here so all I've got to do now is fit this um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do guys I'm just going to spend five minutes I want to wash my hands because I've got all grease and, and, and stuff over them but we're nearly done guys we're just going to put that top bit back on and we should be golden. Okay guys, back again. I've washed my hands. 
can work a little bit better now. Saying that will just put me on straight on grease. <laughs> Two screws. Oops, I dropped one. Okay, guys, why I'm uh, just uh, putting on the last few parts of this laser. <laughs> I say laser, guys, because um, if you looked in any schematic that has a laser unit in there, um, you probably wouldn't even see the word laser. It would be known as optical pickup. Uh, that's its official name, optical pickup. But everybody uses the word laser, guys. I use it. You know, pretty much everybody I know uses the word laser. And the reason I say that, guys, because um, it's very common to call it a laser. If if I was talking to someone on the street and I said my optical pickups gone in my PlayStation, they'd probably know what I was talking about. But if I was to say the laser's gone in my PlayStation, then they're definitely going to know what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, there's a difference, guys, be between calling something a laser and an optical pickup. The optical pickup is the official word, what you would find in a schematic. Done. Stripped, cleaned, reassembled, re-greased. Um, let's get it back in the PlayStation and see if it's any better. Okay guys, I have the PlayStation reassembled. I didn't want to film the reassemble guys, it's just the opposite of taking it apart. Um, yeah, let's power this thing on and see what it sounds like. So power on lid button oh that's <laughs> that's night and day different and here we go lid button and here we go lid button oh that's <laughs> that's night and day different guys that that was night and day different that's really quiet now um, what I can do is let me just power this off. Is I've Resident Evil Three. This is this PlayStation is not chipped, by the way, guys. Um, and I'm just going to power it on, and we can have a listen to what it sounds like when it's actually loading game. It's really quiet guys, you can hardly hear it. The only time you can really hear it is when the laser moves. 
a distance there did you just hear that but it's not that's not super loud how it used to be guys it's really quiet compared to what it used to be um, what I'm gonna do now guys is hook it up to the TV just to make sure it runs okay I'll leave it on for like 20 30 minutes just let it play through movies and stuff see if I can see if it skips any movies or anything like that and if it doesn't it's good to go guys hey guys back again as you can see PlayStation's on. Oh, it's just faded off. It's actually playing Resident Evil 3. Um, it's been playing this for, I've had it going for 45 minutes. It's absolutely fine. It hasn't skipped once. FMV plays fine, gameplay is fine, audio is fine. So, uh, yeah, I'll call that a success, guys. Um, yeah, one thing you notice is I've got a lot of crap I need to sort out. <laughs> it's a bit of a dump. I don't sleep, this is a spare room guys, I don't sleep in this room, so, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's it's working absolutely perfect. I'll just leave it till the FMV, FMV comes back on so you can have a look at that, but it's fine. It's been running for 45 minutes. Boom goes zombie. And you can hear it guys, it's, it's really quiet. Uh, some of you may notice I do have a new TV. What's well, an old TV my sister gave it me? She was actually throwing it out and uh, was like, screw it, I'll have it. Yeah, absolutely fine. 45 minutes, not a problem. So, yeah, I'd call that a success, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that usual stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.